Hi, Lauren Schaffler here from Beijing, New Zealand. Uh, I'm sitting on Tawaki. She's an 81-foot luxury launch, uh, charter launch, operating out of Auckland's Viaduct Harbour. She's just been fitted with some very interesting uh, stabilizing technology. She's the first one in the country to receive this technology. And uh, we decided to take her out into the Hauraki Gulf to see how this technology performs. I'm sitting with Steve uh, Cockrum, he's the owner and skipper of the vessel uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about why um, he had this technology fitted to her. Steve, um, what was the rationale for putting this on? She's a large vessel, you'd think she'd be pretty stable at sea, so what was the reason for fitting this? Yeah, um, it is very stable uh, in, in certain directions. It tends to roll a bit more than you would expect for a boat this size uh, when we have a following sea. Uh, and so we, we, we looked into all sort of forms of stabilizers, um, uh, checked out the wings, checked out the gyros, uh, and, and uh, we came to the conclusion that perhaps these rotors were, were the way to go. Yeah. So can you just explain, um, as I understand it, you've got two cylinders or rotors mounted under the hull, one on either side, and they work a little like ailerons on an aircraft wing in the sense that the one generates lift and the other one generates a downforce to try and uh, cancel out any roll mechanism or a, a roll uh, situation. Exactly. So the, 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 the rotor or the drum rolls one way or the other and create, creates uh, negative and positive lift above it and below it and, yeah. and obviously either side works opposite to each other and one lifts and one, uh, one uh, pushes down sort of thing mm -hmm. uh, and it cancels the roll out. And it's all automatic, you don't have to do anything? Once the system's on you don't even know it's on, you don't hear it, you can't feel it, anything other than the boat now yeah. seems as stable in every direction. Yeah. I know that um, you were particularly attracted to it because it's fully electric and B, it was very easy relative to some of the other technologies in terms of fitting it into an engine room. That's right, the, the retrofitting um, side of it was, it was amazing. The footprint in the engine room is very, very small. So uh, we have limited space in the engine room. We don't have enough room for a hydraulic bank and all the big uh, actuators that come with the wings. We definitely don't have enough room for a, a, a gyro that's big enough for a boat this size. Uh, and and uh, the, the footprint of these is, is unbelievably small, really. Yeah. Also, because they're electrical, um, uh, we have lots of electrical power, a couple of big generators on board the boat, and, and, and so you plug them in and, you, like I said before, you, you don't even know they're going. Uh, so this is the size of the Magnus Master unit. There's one on either side, and as you can see, uh, it's about 400 millimeters square and about 200 millimeters high. So that's a relatively small footprint in a tight, crowded engine room. The actual retrofit, I mean, is that uh, one anticipates something like this could be a relatively big and demanding job, but it went fairly easily? Very, very well. Uh, VMS, uh, Vessel Management Services, um, facilitated the whole thing. Uh, hardest job we had was drilling the hole through the hull. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, it was uh, really from while to go, it was uh, less than a week, maybe four or five days. And the end result, you've been now operating for a couple of months with this technology. Um, what sort of, from what I gather, most people don't even know it's on their business. I was going to say, I really get no feedback. But what I get is everyone says how amazing it is to be on an 80 foot boat that doesn't move at all in 35, 40 knot winds with a couple of meter seas beam on. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.